once again to the SWOO Sports Network here for the Coaches Show. I'm Kay Crenshaw once again beginning the spring semester with you here alongside our head women's basketball coach, Coach John Davis. Coach, welcome back to the program. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing as good as can be with an eight-game losing streak right now. I, I hear that. <laughs> well, you're, you're in the midst of the regular season, uh, really on the back half now, approaching a run at the conference tournament. Looking at as a whole, what's one thing you've learned about this team from preseason to now? We've just been up and down. Uh, if you look at our first semester, uh, going back to a couple of games there, we were sitting at four and two after the Coker game, which was a really good game for us in terms of uh, some of the things that we did. And then getting back into the conf conference season against North Greenville, uh, again, going all the way back first semester, uh, you know, we're up by eight at halftime against them, didn't play a great half. And I think we got a little uh, complacent uh, at that point and you know ended up scoring only 15 points in the second half of that game and you know they ended up beating us by by 11 um, and then just sort of the up and down that we've been having sort of consistently we've been really trying to focus on on details details and, and being focused on those details and you know just trying to get better as a group you know first semester was you know up and down sort of like we said we had a good win against Lee's McRae on the road and a good home win against AUM. Uh, we went into break losing to Mount Olive by nine. Um, you know, so so going into the end of the break, we felt like we were in a good spot as a team, but the new year hasn't treated us very well. Well, Coach, I think oftentimes people overlook the side of basketball when it comes to rebounding and how important it is. As just the fact of the game, a lot of people think, well, who's shooting the most points or, or who's shooting the most shots, scoring the most points? But you have girls like Haley Waters, Lasana Burnett, even Haley Morrison, quality bench man is coming in and playing very, very well under the basket. Right. Uh, rebounding is, is Achilles' heel for us right now. You know, against Lee's McRae on Monday night, we got out rebounded by 18. Uh, outside of the 18 rebounds that they had the advantage on, you know, they were 12 of 26 from three point range, and that really hurt us. Uh, other than that, our numbers across the board were pretty good, uh, but 17 offensive rebounds, and they were plus 18 in the rebounding category. You're not going to be successful as a team uh, when when that happens. And we were right there. You know, we you know competed the entire time, so that was a good thing. Uh, but we've got to get better as as a rebounding team overall. It can't be one person. It's got to be everybody. On the back half of your season now, for the many games you guys have been through, you're going to pick up a few bumps and bruises. What's the overall health of the squad right now? Health is good right now, uh, so that's a good good thing in terms of the physical side. We we are healthy. Um, so uh, that's a good part about where we're at right now. I think we are getting to a point to where, you know, the team is in a good spot. You know, we talk about finding your joy, and that's hard to do when you're, you're losing games because, you know, you look at results. Um, and a lot of times you're looking at sort of what you said earlier. You're looking at points. You're looking at this kind of thing. And, and basketball is not an not a individual sport. It's a team sport. You know, so it's really critical for us to make sure that we're putting our focus on each other, you know, through this process and really finding, you know, the good that we're going through right now and embracing the journey that we're on right now. You know, last season, we played our best basketball at the beginning of January and we fizzled at the end. Right now, we're still competing and I feel like we're a team that I think can, can make a run at it. And, you know, we haven't dug ourselves a hole to where we, where we can. So that's a good, good spot to be in right now. One part that's overlooked by fans, I think, a lot in your program is Coach Forrester and his impact and his influence. What has his touch been on this program like? Uh, he's just good at uh, details of the game. He's good at, at teaching. He's good at fundamentals. Uh, he's good with the mind. Uh, he's a big help in terms of uh, just being an advocate for what we do, uh, being Christ-centered in his approach. Um, it's key for us, and, and he does a great job of ministering to the girls and you know, teaching the game of basketball, but more importantly, you know, teaching the game of life. Moving forward through the remainder of the season, of course, you want to pick up a few wins here or there, kind of pick up the rebounding, even you coined it the Achilles heel of this squad. Biggest goal moving forward is to, of course, win games. What are the smaller ones that you have individually for this team? Well, I want to see the team grow individually. Uh, I know that's sort of a broad statement, but I want to see them grow into servant leaders. You know, individuals that truly want to go out and serve each other and love each other and know what that means. Because that's the greater good of what we do on the basketball court. 
I'm also a firm believer that if we're doing that consistently off the court, then basketball sort of just takes care of itself because, you know, you're, you're joyful, you're having a good time with each other. And again, when you lose games like we've been losing lately, you lose sight of that a little bit. But from a coaching staff standpoint, we're not losing sight of why we do what we do in the bigger picture of why we do what we do. And we're going to keep working hard. We're going to stick to it. I think we're in a spot to where we can have some success. Uh, we have some people stepping up in, in good ways off the court. Uh, so we'll see. We want to encourage everybody to come on out to Historic Tysinger and watch these lady basketball players take it to the court for just a few remainder games of the year. So if you want to catch some more of your basketball action, you need to come on out before the season's over. Coach, as always, we appreciate your time, and good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach Davis. Once again, here on the SWU Sports Network, I'm Kay Crenshaw. We'll see you next time.